strap in, get yourself a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. We're going to be uh, having a small discussion, a little bit of raid talk here. Is Polarium driving raid into the dirt? Is the end of raid as we know it coming? And I think it's going to be an interesting discussion that we can all talk about, especially down in the comments. I'm interested to see your guys' opinions. But yeah, a lot of people have been leaving Raid. A lot of people feel that Raid Shadow Legends is now a lost cause, that all hope is lost, and that there's no coming back or saving it. Other content creators are doing games like Dragonair or um, uh, Watcher of Realms. You know, they have their other channels there. They're doing content there and then a lot of the player base is leaving raid and then following them over there as well but yeah, let's go ahead and dive into this comment that i got that really got me thinking about this topic we've all seen it we've all talked about it we've all uh, heard it uh, people leaving raid but i never really stopped to think about it until i read this comment here rice axe gaming says i don't get american people this event is just one more nail in the coffin of Raid. The game is at the end of its life cycle and one can feel it. And this is what stood out for me. You go to other people's, uh, other CC's comments in their videos and you can see a lot of people will be saying something to the effect of this, that it's the end of Raid. So, you know, I, I perseverate the, the conversation. Uh, a lot of people have quit. Hydra Clash is a joke. Champion Balance is off. Live Arena and other areas need work. It's mostly a cash grab. He says it's not even fun. It's not even work, it's just suffering, considering how champ training campaign, especially the tavern, are set up. And yeah, you know what, I saw a video uh, a while ago, I think last week, talking about how video games have become... It was Asmund, Asmund Gold. I was watching one of his videos and he was covering somebody else talking about how video games are basically a chore now. Well, not every video game, but a lot of them nowadays are just a well-oiled wheel designed to keep you in the game designed to keep you in the hustle and bustle to keep you in the rat race it, you know what i mean just to keep on going over and over again and by the way this is not a rant video telling you guys to come up in arms and complain and yada 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 listen guys if you don't like the game just quit if you don't like the game just leave go do something else there's so many other games to play and uh rice axe gaming did also say you know real life should be more important than raid i agree with that i do think real life is is more important than raid because at the end of the day we can't take these pixels with us in fact we don't actually even technically own our own accounts polarium owns our accounts so if they decided that they want to not let us in our accounts anymore they have every right to do so and then we're sol but yeah you should go out and enjoy life my wife and i recently just got back from france and before that we got back from hawaii my wife and i love to travel we also work six days a week so this is a fun way for me to relieve that kind of pressure but yeah definitely go touch grass and uh, hang out with your family but if you don't have family then you have a great raid community right here the other side of that coin is we all have our vices. We all have things that we do to relax. You guys are probably watching Netflix shows or playing other video games. You know what I mean? Like everybody's got their own thing that, that they're doing. You know, World of Tanks, for an example. So there's, there's nothing wrong with playing video games. There's nothing wrong with doing whatever makes you happy. I'm just bringing this video up so we can talk about it. So we can have this discussion because I like talking to you guys. I've always been commenting on raids posts and i specifically always ask for a siffy so right here i was just like polarium i've been a loyal player slash customer for five years a siffy please and they actually responded they're like i'll keep my fingers crossed for you to get the champion that you desire good luck but you know i thought it was funny raid has always been behind with the quality of life it's a shame that raid with its potential is in such greedy hands of polarium Playing smart and efficient was a curse to me. Got all the champs I really wanted. Convinced Raid is going to die because newer players can never catch up with the power-up and systems in the game. That's true. Uh, power creeping is always going to be a thing. Even Taurus and Mariska for as long as they've lasted so far. It is likely that eventually, assuming that Raid doesn't, you know, throw themselves in the dirt, that there will be some type of power creep for Taurus and Mariska. They're never going to directly nerf Taurus and Mariska, but they're going to implement other controls. For an example, Sun Wukong, the fusion couple that just came out right now. Fatalis, if you want to count Fatalis, you know, his passive, kind of. But anyway, uh, many sold their accounts on both occasions. Raid needs fundamental change to be viable to newer players and veterans alike. Many are just tired of Polarium's BS. Some are burnt out from uh, years of playing efficiently. Smart are going the extra mile to uh, in these burnout path events. Yeah, because here's the thing. Raid is constantly 
throwing out a bunch of events. It seems like non-stop, back to back, right? Progressive chances, summoning events, summoning parties, um, free gear removal, more champions being released, the fusion events, back to back fusions, the lover's path event. There's always something going on in raid and there's always an event to make you feel FOMO. I would remind you guys, just, you know, pick and choose. Like just, just go to anybody else's videos and you'll see like a lot of the other players in the community will probably show the same sentiment in their videos. Let's go to Bronco for an example. Like let's, let's look at his videos. Here, for an example, he has Burnout within Raid. Or let's go look at Nubs. Oh, right here, yeah. The best reward is all the free time I will get from skipping events. Let me move myself here. It's Valentine's Day. You knew Polarian was going to expect us to put out. <laughs> and when people get sick of this in a few months, they will do a cheap fusion or event. People say, ooh, Polarium have learned their lesson, and in two weeks we'll be back to this shit again. <laughs> Can't believe you even bothered with this. I'm not touching this event at all. It's insulting. Planning is everything. Playroom always manages to create situations like this. Like, you guys get the idea. You go to any other videos, you will see comments like these. The community is pretty much, like, tired, fed up with it. Like, just just completely done with, with Polarium. No demand, there would be no supply. Polarium will continue to push edge of what their market will bear and only back off when they cross that line that there is not enough return of investment. And, and I'm not complaining. I hate, I hate complaining. I do not like complaining. I'm not trying to complain. I'm just opening up the discussion for us to talk about it. You know, I, I think it's it's interesting. It's up to you to decide whether or not you want to play the game. Me? I love Raid. I, I, I enjoy the shit out of Raid. Like, it, I don't know why. I just, I, I don't know if I'm addicted or if I'm in love with the game. I'm not in love with the game, but like, I'm passionate about the game. Like, the community is awesome. The game is fun to me. I enjoy a, a lot of the aspects. There's a lot of great things to like about Raid. If you are able to just ignore all the 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 greed and all the deception and everything else that polarium does but you know it is what it is i didn't script this video i didn't like come up with the plan i just had the idea in my head and i threw it out there i do notice whenever polarium decides to give a massive dicking i know when whenever they come out with a lot of events that they're just they're just they're just pulling out a giant cock and they, they want you all to suck it as always you can choose whether or not you want to keep it in your face or just put it down and and get it away from you but yeah it's true if you are free to play you're gonna struggle that's just the way it is but there are a lot of players like boozer gavin masters raid uh, who are just excellent at the free to play lifestyle they are huge and they've succeeded quite a bit it's a lot more fun being pay to win. I, I'm speaking as a pay to win player, and that's probably why I'm more optimistic about the game because I've been pre free to play or pay to win, free to pay for quite a bit of time, I'll, even with my several months taking breaks of spending in between. I mean, there's just so much, there's so much to talk about, but I'm open to having this discussion with you guys down in the comments below. Let me know your guys' thoughts. I would like to see some positive comments in there. Some, some players saying things like, oh, you know, I freaking love Raid. Uh, something to that effect because it's a great game you know don't hate me for it i enjoy it just because i enjoy it and you don't like it doesn't mean you should provide hate but go ahead and do your thing mm -hmm.